Streets of Rage. Alright, order. Can I get a number one if I come in a little, uh, if I come in just right? Can I get a number four if I sound absolutely fucking terrible? Is that a uh, four, three, two, or one? I'm speaking better now, so. So like, uh, it took me a while, uh, and four hours in fact, to realize that holding up and the jump button when thrown allows me to recover. You know, started off with Alex. I mean, Axel. Don't know why I get those confused. Pardon me. And uh, make the best of Axel. Using my, using as many cheap tricks as I can. And just attempting to blast through it. With uh, everything I've got. Come on, you motherfuckers! Come on, you motherfuckers! Yeah, yeah. Ain't gonna be like last time. Hopefully, I'll get uh, an absolute shit ton of lives to be able to make it through without wasting credits. Let's see if I can bet on that 1cc run. Memorizing stages, layouts, uh, it's gonna yeah, help me manage enemy placement. Everything's gonna go much more smoothly now. I ain't jinxing nothing. I can feel it. It's in my bones, it's in my blood. Uh oh. Oh Now I could answer right now. But doing so might set off a chain of events that'll. Completely destroy the run. Could be a text message. Could be a. Could be a notification of uh, something else entirely. I'm too busy to find out. Considering that I made sure not to have that sort of thing pop up on me. I'm wondering why it's happening now. The anticipation is killing me. I'll just check when I'm done with the boss. It's not that bad. Come here, you little motherfucker. Get rid of these. 
not going to be a no damage one, but I'll definitely be able to get through here with uh, minimal trouble. Oh. Hopefully if I time it right with the boss screens, I can do, pull off a trick that'll, get him to, that'll get me to kill him in literally uh, no time at all. I attempted to do it right now, in fact, that trick. Face, there we go. But there's turkey here. Or chicken. There's some here. I'm gonna grab him. Fuck it. One, two. Whoa! I did it! Oh yeah! I throw mashed him. Yes, I did. You can do that to a lot of bosses in this game, and basically do it to where you can um hit stun them forever without having to deal with their shit. It's a sick trick, and that's the first time I've ever pulled it off. I feel pretty good. You can also do it to the, this boss in this stage as well. I highly recommend it. It's an absolutely fun time doing it. It's comparable to the Final Fight Punch Glitch, which if you don't know what that is. It's where uh, Cody, the main character, can toss, uh, can basically throw out a few punches and then turn and then do it again a, a couple times uh, and do that pretty much infinitely. Oh, had to scratch my face. It may cost me dearly, it may not. And you can basically trap them in an infinite, and you can do that to pretty much everyone in the game, and it's uh, hilarious to do. I've never been able to pull it off myself, but I'd like to try at some point. Maybe when I play Final Fight on the air. Like on a whim. I don't know what would compel me to do that, I don't really... I'm not gonna lie, I don't find Final Fight that much and more enjoyable. And then Streets of Rage. That might can be considered blasphemy to some, but not to me. Uh-oh. Come on. Come on. I guess it's just because I like the music more than Streets of Rage. It's something I've been mentioning a lot, but yeah, it's true. Music is my thing. Especially in video. Wow. I'm just tearing to the second stage now. Alright, come on. Come on. I'm gonna knock that shit out of you. Now I know to pay attention to the sound design to let me know when an enemy is actually down on the count. Usually, a hit of a, uh, two hits of a weapon will do the trick. If not, um, well, usually like two to three hits, or two more hits from Axel usually signify them being down for the count. I, I like to think. This is right around the time when the fire-throwing uh, clown shows up and ruins my shit. There he is. Oh, you fucking clown. So I realized that the best option to take, to take him out is to um, stun lock him by mashing the punch button really, 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 really fast. So much for me checking my phone is, uh, after the boss fight, too. Damn. Did not hold my promise on that. It's fine, it's fine. that problem, especially when multiple clowns show up. What happened to that young lady? Oh! There we go. Okay, let's see if I can do it right. Oh, he got me at the wrong time. Oh, 
shit. Well, actually, this might be enough to kill. Oh shit! I forgot that three of them just show up out of nowhere. Bigger knife. Knife! You can't tell, I really enjoy the knife's capabilities, so when it comes to completely mowing down my foes. Or just the singular foe. Okay, let's see if I can do it. Alright. This is skillful. Great singular. Fuck! I couldn't do it. Duck! Duck! Damn. There. Oh. I can't be happy. Uh, 
time. I, me I botched it. I totally botched it. Pain. Coursing through my veins as I was unable to execute a simple maneuver. Also, in case you couldn't tell, that was clearly a joke. When I said it required a lot of technique. And I've been laughing at it for quite some time. Huh. Did I actually. Nope. No, I didn't. I didn't kill both of them at the same time. I'm wondering why I'm not using the suplex more often. I really should. I might just lend these, these kills. Go. Go. Pass me by. This is ridiculous. No need to get frustrated now. I've just gotta hit him with my bare knuckle. No need to think about it right now. Uh oh. That was free. I shouldn't have let that happen. That was free. That was a free recovery. And if I had landed it correctly, it would have been six. Here, Pepper, sneeze on that. Oh, I've had so many show up here. I've got to accept this. I've got to accept the situation for what it is. Fucked. Gonna take it on the chin, I think. He's gonna take it all the way. <laughs> He's gonna <laughs> take that one all the way to the bank. Doing this as an enemy comes from behind you is a really good idea. It's a lot of bullshit out of the way. Oh no, I missed the turkey! See if I can do it. Okay. Shit. So much for that.
Still haven't wasted a single continue. Ah, that trick's helped me get on pretty far in. Son of a gun! Don't even bother picking up weapons. It takes too long. And when enemies are coming at you this quickly, just suplex their ass. By the way, in case this you're just tuning in and this is your first time into uh, getting your streets of rage, all of these voice samples are done by the same person, probably maybe. For the love of God! Son of a bitch! I'm just getting sloppy and sloppy! like to be a speedrunner and I understand why they flip out all the time and things don't go their way. But at the same time, I'll just get over it. I never did like how these enemies never uh, went down or allowed me to get a clean knockdown. Oh, Harry. Oh, never mind. He doesn't show up again for a while. Oh, come on. Then he was right in front of him. How dare you not come succumb to the physics of a falling knee drop in a video game. Uh-oh. be able to time it right. Oh no. that way anyway. There we go. 
Nope. I'm not dealing with that many clowns. some reason a fire front uh a fire juggling clown. There you go. Yeah 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 take that you fucking clown. I don't have anything against clowns. I actually love them very dearly. But uh in this context they can uh literally take a fish in the face on my behalf. That's just my own personal It's not so bad once you learn to throw a cover, which is just pressing up and the jump button, so. Not a lot to handle here. Sometimes I'm afraid I'll get the timing wrong. It's very lenient, so it's not that much of a concern, honestly. The fact that I'm just gonna call in the assist, because I'll just give him the next level. Damn it, I forgot they can suplex me! Done in by my own suplex. Kinda of shit is that? Oh yeah, I forgot. So I actually remembered the the names of these bosses are Mona and Lisa, respectively. And those are the only ones that I remember. Toss your ass on the deck! All aboard or y'all all aboard? That's the question. I have to ask myself how I do this fucking fight. There you go. Come on. Come on. Can't wait till we get to. Streets of Rage 2, where the boss fight theme is exceptionally better. Done! I know I say respectively as though they don't look the, as the same, but. Uh, you know. I, know I, I, I felt like it had to be said regardless. And yes, I would say he's a clown. He's got the makings of a clown. He's got the makeup. He's got the juggling down pat. And he has a very, uh, he's got a, he looks like he has, as though he has a very whimsical, uh, uh face about him. I sense this. I feel it. Also, his weird little jig that he does makes me feel like he's a clown. Just a 
Also, the uh, Mona and Lisa are just sprite rips, uh, sprite color, sprite edits, so... Blaze Field, and, and, uh, in case you didn't know, and it shows painful. It's pain painful, but kind of fun. Just gonna stun lock you, so you don't stab me with that fucking knife. Excuse me, ma'am, but you're in need of a suplex. And also a knife to the face. I don't know if you can recover from that, but honestly, I don't. I hope you don't. Criminal scum. And also, this is a new stage hazard. <laughs> yeah, there you go. He's gone. Maybe, probably. He'll be back. He can. He can recover from that. But oh, never mind. I spoke too soon. <laughs> he will never get past this trash campaign. They thought as he activates it and uses it against his own <laughs> as they use as he uses it against his own his own uh their own uh their own men. It's horribly unfortunate for them. Oh no. Come on. Fuck! He comes from there? gives me the most problems in the entire game, and he literally only appears twice. I can't throw him, he's literally too fat to throw. If you attempt to do that, he, he, he damages you. Which I found absolutely hilarious, and reminds me of certain enemies in uh, the beat-em-up RPG, JRPG, Yakuza. Which happens quite frequently. So many big things in that game. So many big boys, so little time to beat their ass. They are also always the ones with the most health. I never got why that's a thing in video games, giving fat people health, a lot of health. Never equated um, being overweight to having lots of stamina and uh, the ability to take a punch really well. Or even a knife, for that matter. Any form of... any, any armament, really. It's quite, it's quite hilarious to me, actually. I think that'd be the, the athletic touch, but unfortunately not. Almost all of them will usually have some, uh, in these types of games, have some sort of melody. Oh, maybe. Also, Pepper. Man, it makes me sad that Pepper never appears as another add-on. And as another item, again, in the other games. To my knowledge. It just makes the enemies sneeze. Or, like, the closest thing they could get the sprites to, to, to be. To give the impression of sneezing. I should say. Because they try. They try to make it look like sneezing. They really do. They give it their dampest. I would show it, but... I'm legitimately trying too hard to kick their ass. So... Now there he is! And also... Oh, well. Guess he saved himself from... Horrible death in the press. Give me one moment. None of the comments saying right now. My mic. Turn up my mic. Hmm. Fortunately, I can't turn up my mic. My mic. Turn up my mic. Hmm. Fortunately, I can't turn up my mic. The idea that fat would give you enough energy reserves and insulation to survive a punch from a grown man with all his might is, uh, Undoubtedly hilarious to me in ways that I can't express with words. Undoubtedly hilarious to me in ways that I can't I love it with words. I love it. Oh 
Plus, I'm going to check something outside. Give me just one moment. I'll be right back. Plus, I'm going to check something outside. Give me just one moment. Okay. Cool. Now, ladies and gentlemen, I will give you the first six digits of my security, uh, <laughs> social security card, and uh, six, the last thirty-two of my security. Here we go. <laughs> social security. One. One. Two. Seven. Three. Two. Seven. Three. Here we go. Four. Two. Six. Six twenty one. Seven three. Yeah. Four two six. Six twenty one. Yeah. I'm just kidding. That was for deep and hoot. That was. Those were the numbers for a uh, image on an image board for porn. Ooh, come on, activate! Yes! Well... Ooh, come on, activate! Yes! It makes him feel any better. He's about to get smashed into a giant press. Like... That! Uh-oh. And also like that. Jeez, he... I really got the short end of the stick there. And you know that killed him because you heard the scream too. Damn. Ow! Well, it's not so bad when it happens to me. Aha! Gonna keep jumping. Or jump me in this. Got the turkey. Got the chicken. Delicious beef. <laughs> Tangy, tasty, coconutty. And most importantly, full of punch. <sighs> Incredible. Also, they throw this bullshit at you. You didn't like that boss in the second stage. They thought it was a good idea to put two of them in here. Cause why the fuck not? They thought it was a good idea to put two of them in here. Fuck both of you. Like actually, fuck both of you. Here, take this giant band. Hope you like it. I know you did. Oh! Yeah, you gotta be careful, otherwise that happens. It's a real pain in the ass. Shit! Shimata! Wonderful! Come on. Come on. Come over here. Shimata. Come over here. Come on, baby. Come on, baby. Oh, what? Get it on the freeze frame? I can! Oh, no, I couldn't. It just looks like he's going for a squat. Yes, that is my social security number. I'm not joking. 
And by not joking, I mean I'm completely joking. Yes, that is my social Round seven. Here we go, boys. I've holy shit, I actually got all the way to the end. Ah. Feels pretty damn good. Hey, you can just throw him off of there. Feels good. Feels good, man. Haha! -ha, no more throwing anymore. Asshole! last place you can ever use the uh, striker and uh, when we get to a certain area I'm just gonna spam it because um, I love the uh, I love where they show I love how they show where the cops come from for this it's fucking hilarious they've been showing up all kinds of places and then they <laughs> there's one in particular places mostly because of how long it takes for the camera to show where they come from do I find it hysterical? It's not as ridiculous as, say, like, the boat that they show up on. Or the, uh, industrial area that you show up in. The one that was here previously. Come on. Come on. Ah, now they're all fucking just clamoring all over here. Just ready to get a piece of you. Oh! Oh! Had to do that twice! Yes! Yeah, you go. Fuck you and fuck you and fuck you! Everybody's getting fucking thrown off this goddamn elevator. Hello, sir. If I were you. Ah, Wanda. Ha! I can feel it in my bones. It's coming tonight. Fuck! boys look how far down they have to the camera has to pan holy shit boom six stories down no remorse shit speaking of no remorse fuck you and fuck you too Fuck you, fuck you, fuck you! That was cool as fuck, and if you disagree, you can kindly fuck off my dick. This music is great and I love it. Also, they're just throwing shit from, uh, they're just throwing dining carts at you now. Not even giving a fuck. They're literally running out of options. position this so that I can see the there we go now I can see the 
fucking chat. Yuzo Koshiro, the composer for this game, was highly inspired by techno. Since it was on the floor, real hot. They freaking, him and the freaking composer frequently went to the club uh, <laughs> to, to listen to music for, insp in for inspiration. Good shit. Wow, I can't believe it. he got hit by the downing cart too. Guess everyone's getting a shit right by downing carts tonight. Sega Genesis. It's for the Sega Genesis. The spread art on this is pretty sweet. I like it a lot. Oh, here he is. <laughs> now that's what I call. Fuck a trade. So much for that. Another dining cart? Maybe. Probably. Come on, you son of a bitch! Shit, I couldn't time it right. She's gonna fuck around with this old school. Come on. Homie, let's dance. Fuck I'm just gonna throw you around like a rag. There we go. The rest is gonna come back again. This time I'm ready for it. and you never will! Come on. Come on. Come on, dude. Uh -oh. I would talk, but I'm currently busy beating up the ultimate warrior. Shit, timed it wrong. There, he's dead. The last of the real hustlers. Aha! Oh. Well, that was all for nothing. Or was it? Pepper in your face, bitch! Oh, wow. Well. Couldn't get him to see this. Could get him to fall. You and your 
fucking hoonie. Haha! -ha! Oh god. Stage play. Feel more like less. Feel less like I'm playing my, my uh, Streets of Rage game. More like I'm. No! Oh God! It happened. Ah. I feel less like I'm playing Streets of Rage, more like I'm playing a fucking Monty Python. No, more like I'm reenacting certain parts of Monty Python. And only the parts where he does the long walk into the to transition to the immediate stab. Aha! Enough all of you. Yeah, get down on the ground. Foie. And the foie. <laughs> and for you, one 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 for you, and one for you. Yeah, I did it. No striker to help me this time. right now they all just line up to get punched in the they're all literally lining up to get punched in the face enemy placement is key in streets of rage huh okay my greatest trial fuck Show how fucking powerful Blaze is as the as the as the as the strong third character that two of her is enough to completely wreck my shit and take half my health with one fucking kick. Okay, well, come on then, come on then. I'm done with your shit! I'm getting to the Mr. X no matter what. You're not stopping me, bitch. Get the fuck out of here! Oh no, you're not you're not throwing anyone, motherfucker.
Done. We're out of here. Finally, the final boss. And he's all like, Soka, Watashi wa first, I'm gonna massage your feet. <laughs> no, no, no. He doesn't. <laughs> first, I'm gonna. <laughs> well, I think you know what I'm gonna do to you. First, I'm gonna massage your feet. No, that's not at all what he's saying. He's, uh. Fuck. Uh, I can't read Katakana, and this is the Japanese version. Imagine getting all the way to the boss, the actual leader of this criminal organization. You, you left the police force, you fucking hit the streets, and beat down as many people as you possibly can. And then you reach this man at the top, the one at the, at, at the height of it all. And you can't understand a single fucking word of what he says. And you have to respond back to him in his native language. Fucking incredible. What a, what a bold move they had for this game. Truly the... It's a Sega. They knew what they were doing. Okay, now, but what he's, because uh, this is the Japanese version, he's basically offering you to join his organization. And you can, and you just have to, like, start back over again. You just have to start over again, and then do certain sections of the game. Uh, do, uh, starting from stage six, and then fight, and then get back to him. I think you have to also either fight him again, and then you'll become, they'll just be, they'll just, like, sit on his throne and laugh maniacally. It's uh, like a bad ending. Play with the second person, you fight to the death if you both say no, or you think you both say yes. I can't remember, but it ends up with when it, if uh, you could both choose to say yes and take them on at the same time. But if either of you disagrees with the other, yeah, you gotta fight it out. Gotta, gotta, gotta duke it out. For it. So I'm saying no, of course, because uh, fuck him. I've gone through all this trouble. I'm not gonna- I didn't go through all this bullshit and fight every single member of his shitty organization just to deal with this shit and become his underling. I don't even like any of these people. Think I'm gonna make good with them in a fucking criminal organization? Okay, last life, here we go. Whoa, holy shit! Hold on there, buddy, with your fucking fast jabs. Ready to take on the fucking world. Uh oh. Now, it's game over for me. Uh oh. Hot damn. I'm determined to finish this game, and that's exactly what I'm gonna do. But this time I'm gonna do it with Adam, who uh, has the legs to make this work. And just generally makes this way easier. Look how far his legs stick out. He's not the best character in the game, but his legs, his legs make everything so much easier for myself. Also, you can do that shit, which, on its own, is pretty sweet. Okay. Yeah, also, it's a lot funnier to do. I'm gonna do this the entire game, by the way. It's the shit. Pardon me, good sir, I'm gonna have to ask you to fuck off. Mostly because I'm just in. I, I wanna get over it done with. Uh oh. I wonder how 
I even get out of that situation the way I did. Ah, oh, he got me! There are more enemies now. Wonderful. So yeah, in case you were wondering if this is gonna take twice as long, no, it's not actually because I'm I know what I'm doing now. Fucking wonderful. And I'm just gonna cheap it out with Axel and Adam. Why didn't I do that earlier? You ask because playing as Adam Axel is fun. Like his voice samples. He's rad. He's video games, guys. He's video games, guys. I, I just like it. Not really, no. Just takes two kicks to kill someone in, with that with Adam. not broken. That's that's Blaze. But since I'm not good enough at this game, I can't be able to show why she's so broken. Adam's like the worst character in the game by far. She's super fast, and uh, her speed allows you to basically um, take on multiple groups of enemies. With, with like with like excellent precision, makes everything a joke really. Like you can whip it like when you do this. Like see how fast Axel's moving like this. Uh, Blaze's punt, uh, a hit also reaches farther and faster, which means she can like hit. She's basically hitting people from across the room like she's a fucking Super Saiyan in Dragon Ball Z. It's nuts. It's literally nuts. You could almost swear that she she could fucking teleport. Like, there's bits of it. Uh, I, I did play her in the previous stream. She I, and I did post that on YouTube. It is it is there, and it is hilarious. and everything's fine. I do actually. That's where I usually post my other updates. Not all of my streams are uploaded on there because sadly I never got the fourth lot. I upload them on there in enough time before uh, Twitch deleted them. 
I may replay those games at a later date. Anyway, so it's not that much of a loss. Alright, now it's time to take on this Freddy Krueger looking motherfucker. over here. I hate bosses that have en enemies coming in from out of nowhere. Just ruin your shit. It's annoying as all hell. There, we're done. Hopefully the bonus will give me an extra life. Oh, he takes three kicks this time. Since Adam is the weakest of the bunch makes things quite a hassle. I did use Axel's kick, but um, it's not really much of a kick because it doesn't have that, that sweet hitbox. That solid nair. That solid smash nair. If anyone ever got into smash, that, if any of the Streets of Rage characters ever got into smash, that was anything more than a sit an assist trophy, I would have been very, very, very confused because they have never knowledge gone on to anything in Nintendo Believe. These are Sega these are these are Sega exclusives through and through. There's more than I can say about Sega's other intellectual properties. At least the ones that never came out with Saturn. Most of the ones that came out with Saturn. Nice is an exception. Oh no, you don't. Haha! <laughs> Should have a little counter that shows how many hahas I do. I hope not. He's got a lot of weight now. It feels like Captain Falcon is an, has stole. Um, a certain move from uh, Axel that I can't overlook. You'll see when I get the Streets of Rage too. Maybe probably if we ever can get that if we ever can get that far tonight or on another stream. There we go. See how much trouble these guys were giving me before as when I was playing as Axel? Now look at this kick shit. Saving lives! That shit sticks out for days! Citizenry, of course, from these vicious criminals who are going around stabbing fucking randos who are just taking nice strolls across the, the beach at night. Like, these motherfuckers don't even know me, and they're, like, throwing knives at me like I fucking killed their brother or some shit. Fucking women in S&M gear going around whipping people, going and asking for it. What kind of shit is that? The imp most important, the one of the most essential parts of SM is consent. Oh, 
Also, this boss is a total joke with Axe's kick, because it... The hitbox on this bitch. Just fucking... Beautiful! Mmm! Magnifique! It's this! 10 out of 10! We're back again! It's a nice little game from the front. I wish he could be called Hugo. I don't remember what his name is. He gets a weird name in Streets of Rage too, like Adabadabida. Abadadiba. Abadiba diba diba diba. Abadiba diba 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 diba. I wish I were joking, but it's actually that that weird and hilarious. I just fucking clipped two guys with one kick. It's the shit. When they're trying to surround me, it's the most hilarious shit. What always weirds me out is that when I, whenever they, I hear the whip sound effect, it sounds like someone's trying to slap me on my lap. Which makes, which like, lessens the effect of the, uh, the whip sound effect for me. And did I gotta beat it? Eat. I had a baby eat some boy. If you listen closely, it's not a very good it's, I don't find it to be a very good sound effect. Trying to sell the idea of a whip crack. Johnny Test has more appealing whip cracks than that. Or like whip, uh, whip, whips hitting flesh sounds, I guess. Fucking whatever. I can't reach it. Fortunately, Axel cannot be able to reach it. As a result of it, uh, as a result of it being too far away on the screen. Despite it literally being right there. Limitations on your system, everybody. It wounds us all. Oh, is that a knife to the back? Where'd you get that extra knife, buddy? That's bullshit, you know it. Oh! Wow! That's horribly unfortunate for that guy, because... He just gave me the means I needed to, like, corral them all together and kick them to death. This is one clip I had where, in this game, where, uh, I had been knocked into a crevice by one of the men in yellow. And, uh, it resulted in me not only getting an extra life, but me getting extra life with full health upon getting back. Because once I, when, yeah, once you recover, you, um, a thing happens where, uh, You'll just gain your, you'll, like, enemies will get knocked down when you come back, which is super convenient for you. Also, I have six lives now. That means, this is good, this is good, we can do this. Something about breaking a bottle and then using it instead of being was just like... Against these kung fu men. Wow, he comp he wombo comboed me. Oh man. Wow, he comp he wombo combo. Uh oh. The chicken! The chicken! Oh god no, the chicken! Time to call him back up! The chicken is mine! Oh god, no, the chicken! Yes! Time to call him back up! The chicken is mine! Alright, see this is, yeah. You wanna get shit done and look cool while doing it? You pick Axel. I mean, you pick Adam! Maybe that was shaking. It looks like it could be me. Honestly. This is one green dude who thinks he's gonna do something.
Shit! Fuck off. Whoo! Alex Adam, Axel Adam. My name is Axel Adam. Alex, Alex, Axel. Alex, Axel, Adam, Adam, Alex, Axel, 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 my name is Axel. You see this kick, kicking, taking lives and names? Shit's ridiculous, son. Huh? Okay, this is annoying. Definitely weren't this many enemies with knives, to my knowledge. I think. Thank you. Wow! Okay, life taken off. Wow, that, that hitbox is just sticking out for all eternity. Yeah. Yeah, th yeah, that's his attempt. That's their attempt at conveying a sneeze, by the way. I love it. I'm just saying random shit out of frustration. Quoting vines and shit. Can't forget about the ultimate warrior. He's gonna pop out of nowhere to wreck my shit. Oh shit, more chicken! Hey, I'm back to six lives. How about that shit? Why can I throw him, but I can't throw the, the fire breathing if that's so to speak? Oh god. Why can I throw him, but I can't throw the frame this. Ooh, 
Hello, young man with a bat. Might I recommend some other recreational activity for you to indulge in other than mindless violence? No? Go fuck yourself, man. Damn it! I could have gotten the chicken! No point in getting the chicken now. Respective kids. Come on, Biatch. That's that for a work of art. I haven't had I haven't wasted a single credit. I might be able to actually one CC this. I consider that a, a legitimate way of determining whether or not you can put it beat or beat them up.
Fuck, what is this city called? Is it just called the city? No one knows what this place is called. I'm just gonna pick up a weapon. That's scary. I did it. I did it. I did it. I really, really did it. Beat their asses and made it look good. And I don't know what to put when I. I said beat their asses when I came up in my pool. Sneeze, bitch! Sneeze, bitch. <sighs> Women are queens. Except for when they violate the rights of other people by unconsensually engaging in violent, sadomasochistic sadist, 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 sadist behavior! <sighs> and that's a fact, ladies and gentlemen. God given fact. Huh. Smell like that. Aha! Well, Smokey never was the same after he got, got his dick smashed in that giant steel press! <laughs> what am I even say? But even though he was smiling and dancing on the outside, he wasn't just smiling and dancing on the inside. <laughs> the clown, the clown is smoky. Couldn't you tell when I said smiling and dancing? I don't actually know his name, but once I learn his name, that joke will be a lot funnier in my head. Ever since Adam Hunter kicked Smokey into that steel press, got his dick smashed with 400 pounds of pressure, he ain't been right. No, I mean, someone literally kicked him into a steel press and smashed his dick. I'll never be able to have children. Something Smokey dearly, dearly laments. Actually, it turns out his name is fucking like Jeff or Franklin or some shit. Oh, you daddy motherfucker. Beat on him. Which one do I take? You don't know what I'm referencing. I highly encourage you to wait. Now, how am I with the name of that song? Never mind. Where that dude fucking nothing in his health bar? Goddamn! Round 7. 
here we go. Gonna get the button, but the butter, 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 da 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 Been right since old Jack got his dick smashed by his tail press. <laughs> ah, that's even funnier now that I know his name. <laughs> I told him not to go messing around with them, them, those criminals and thieves, muggers, rapists. I told him there was no good for him. Jack had to go and do that. All he wanted to do was make people happy. Well, clowning wasn't enough to pay the bills, he turned to crime. Now Jack ain't got no children, no job, can't have no children. He's all alone. And I can't feel sorry for him. He played a part in his own misery till the very end. I suplex that guy and I almost fell off the lift. His job is clown in capital letters. What was his occupation, ma'am? He was a clown! Are you the victim's mother? Yes! He's a clown, goddammit! And he did it with pride. She blows her nose and it sounds like a little air horn. Former cop Adam Hunter brutally beats down father of three Jack the Clown in an abandoned industrial site. Witnesses say he was uh, drop kicked into a steel press where his dick was smashed with 400 pounds of pressure. The scene where the damage was so extensive, the doctor said. <laughs> That it's a miracle that he's even alive. Can't say the same for that screw. giving the information are so like casual with their language. 
actually sounds very disrespectful and retrospective. Anyone ever talked about someone like that? Same for those victims of, uh... Man, I sure feel sorry for the bitches that got murdered by Ted Bundy. Damn, that's a shame. Like, what the fuck? What kind of way to talk is that, fucker? Boy, that clown. Got a rough way. Uh, it's actually a lot funnier to think about the clown uh, Jack uh, in that in that context, um, considering that he also shows up again in this stage. So the idea that he came back to return to a life of crime even after had being horribly injured uh, to such an extent that the wonders of science can't do nothing for his dick um, is frankly quite depressing. I need the money. Is the money worth getting your fucking shit wrecked? Damn, dog. How much is Mr. X paying these fucking bums? to attack this guy, to attack Adam. Only 500,000? Shit, dude. If he's capable of doing this to this many people in one night, you better be paying me more than fucking 500,000. When I see Adam, if I, if I know that Adam Hunter has gone through, like, A, a man with a steel boomerang that is, uh, twice his size, so, and before, prior to that, at least 30 men, 30 men and women, armed, some of them, uh, and, uh, many of them, Many of them actually who, uh, many of whom who, uh, who, uh, are, act, are experienced martial artists. Fucking, uh, a fire-breathing fatso. A fire-breathing man! <laughs> uh, a man armed with steel claws that moves, uh, except with panther-like agility. And two trained martial arts twins. Coupled with even more armed men and women to act as their goons, uh, I'd feel very worried if I found out, hey, he's also coming up on the lift. Yes, the lift that is armed with, uh, that is also, that we also shoved a bunch of dudes, uh, armed with knives and martial artists and bats and the like to fight him. Yes, he what got past the wrestler. Twice! Oh dear! And he's coming here? Twice. Better be paying me a lot more fun. Better be paying me. Better be paying out the ass. I better have a life insurance policy. When, my, when I fucking die, that guy's gonna. Cause I'm not gonna. My odds of probability. My odds of surviving that encounter are fuck, not even 50 50 by that point. Once he gets to round. Once he gets to round 8. I'm fucking done. What are you gonna do for my family while the boss makes it up, escapes out the back? Is what I, is what I would like to hear. We gotta get the fuck out of town. He just caught past this Freddy Krueger looking motherfucker. Oh, Freddy thought that if he dressed <laughs> in his favorite flaming, uh, flaming red jacket, flame, uh, black jacket with flames on it, he would be safe. He was fucking wrong. Is Adam armed with anything? Uh, the guards say as they attempt to stall Adam. No, actually, yeah. As the guards say as they order men to, to stall Adam. No, actually, he just keeps fucking kicking it. He just, he's just really fucking good at kicking shit. 
Some chicken. Damn it, I didn't time it right. Get over here. I should really gonna get it. And the chicken was right here. God. Son of a bitch, come on! Fuck! Oh, that guy's my first one, so much for a 1cc of this shit. Shit! I did it again! No! Uh oh. That scene where I just keep- that part where I just kept trying to fucking fall on- where he just kept falling on me was like something out of a fucking Jackie Chan movie, I swear. Give me one moment, I got a message. That was downright brutal. That scene where I just keep- that part where I just kept trying to fucking fall on me where he just kept falling on me was like something out of a fucking Jackie Chan movie, I swear. Mario! I'm taking one of you bitches with me. Even if you kick my ass. Shit. 
damn it. I hate these bosses so much. And by that I mean I hate Mona and Lisa with every fiber of my being. But you know what? It feels so satisfying to get one over. I can't be that bad. My soul crystallizes in a fine guy now. It's repeating the To say that I don't look forward to it is, uh, is a lie. Mona and Lisa, respectively, TM. Shit, come on, hurry up and die already! Get into Mr. X whether you want me to or not. Dumbasses. Oh shit! Huh. Oh shit! This is for all the shit you put me through! You forgot, motherfucker! I had an extra continue! Bullets out of the air. Peace has been restored to the city. Rest in peace, you yeah. got the second bastard. God bless us all. Only way I know how to do this. Ass! <laughs> nah, it's gonna be bad. Thank you for sticking with me all the way. It's been a hell of a night. I would play some. Hell, yeah, no. I'll play a little bit of Streets of Rage 2. Yes. And then we'll call it a night. This is the true ending of the game.
game design by There Is No Accounting for Taste Tinon, programmed by Mono Momonga no no Little Son and <laughs> Little Son. They say hi to the guys who helped them out. Oh yeah, I'm going to bed. What an amazing game! For two hours and 54 minutes? That's not too bad. I'll upload this to YouTube after everything's said and done. Tonight! <sighs> ah. Get a real kick out of it. The end. Twice. I think it just ends on this. Actually, is it? Yeah. Okay. All the way at the bottom, you motherfuckers! Twice. One day, I'll one CC. One day. One. 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 Ah, it's okay if you missed the stream. I'll have a recording of it uploaded onto YouTube. One of these days. But, pardon moi. It's time to play a little bit of Streets of Rage 2. So it's okay if any of you missed, if you guys are just tuning in to uh, that one. Alright, give me one moment, I'm gonna stop the stream and then start it up again. Now it's time to 